Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the mayor's office here with the city of Boulder. Yeah. And the mayor wanted me to give you a call and let you know that um, she doesn't like you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying, I, I'm just the messenger. So. Uh, and why doesn't she like me? I, I don't know. She just, she wrote down this. I don't a, know the mayor. Yeah, I, I, yeah, she, she's just. I, I just have to do what she says, okay? And she gave me this post-it with your name and everything on it, and is like, call this guy and let him that's know that. Strange, I, that's really strange because I really couldn't I and mean, I can't understand why she would do that but yeah it's okay, okay. um it, it'd be great to know why she doesn't like me but uh well she didn't that she is didn't kind like, of a strange call you have to admit that right yeah it is but you know she she's just kind of a nightmare to work with and I just do what she says and stay out of her way um wow okay um this is not uh, you're not joking with me now are you oh no I wouldn't joke Okay. We're not well, allowed to um, joke on the job. I'll have to keep that in mind the next time I vote. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think right, she's. I, I don't think Thank she's you. running again this year. So. Oh well, that's probably a good thing. Then so, so your won. your little threat there doesn't doesn't mean anything to us. Uh, well, it's not a threat, obviously. I'm, well, you know, just you know. It, it's saying that if somebody is, makes has you call me to tell me that uh, she doesn't like me, I this is a story to tell my friends it's kind of an interesting thing yeah they'll probably never believe you they'll probably just be like oh yeah he's I know I, I really except that you know the phone number came up is uh, Boulder City Government so yeah. it's obviously there's something going on there so yep that's really strange I have to admit because I am very um, you know I don't do a lot I you know I'm retired and I just sort of uh, yeah you seem like a nice a guy time. to me <laughs> well thank you yeah, no, no problem. I just, yeah, it's it's just her, you know. She's probably just, probably just having one of those days. Probably that time of the I month. I don't quite understand, but how does she even know me? I, I don't even have anything. I don't have any anything to do with 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 her or the government or anything. I don't know. She was mad though. She's she handed me the post it. She's like, "You call this guy. You tell him I don't like him." That is really strange. And I tried to object, and she's like, "Up, up, 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 up. Just do it, Roy." Okay. Well, I will. Uh, Take it under advisement, as they say. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice day. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye, Neil. Hey there, everybody. You're listening to Snowplow Show, episode 835. It is February 14th, 2024. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I actually did these calls yesterday, but whatever. I'm going to call this a Valentine's Day show. This show is brought to you by Pranker Governor, Salt Teddy, the Prime Minister of Australia, Basket of Grapes, and Teen Wolf Jesus. Thank you to everybody that supports the show. I have two things here in my show notes. Both are kind of sad. So we'll start with this one from Sadie. She says, my boyfriend of four years just passed on Tuesday, and he loved you guys so much. He let me listen to you guys and also did a prank and got kicked out. I don't know what that's about. I'm not sure what he got kicked out of. 
And she says, I would love it if I could just get a shout out for him or anything. I know he'd be so happy. His name was Marco Ramirez. So shout out to Marco Ramirez. Rest in peace, Marco. Sorry for your loss, Sadie. That's a bummer. We're losing people in the community all the time. And then item number two, remember Richard Cardo? He's the pretend investigator who worked on the John Bonet Ramsey case. And by that, I mean he's like one of those housewives that sits at home on the internet and works on cases because they're bored. He's the one who thinks that I killed John Bonet Ramsey back in 1996. And I swear I didn't, you guys. You gotta believe me. Don't believe this nut job, Richard Cardo. But uh, he did a big series of videos about 10 or 15 years ago telling everyone I'm guilty as hell and using pictures for my website and naming me by name and just trying to get the message out there. Brad Carter is a murderer. He kills children and he's completely serious about this. I thought it was a joke at first, but the longer it's gone on, the more I'm pretty sure he's completely serious. But that's all old news. You know, that happened 10 or 15 years ago, but he is actually back uh, about eight months ago. He did an interview with another pretend detective and it's a video interview and he's wearing a detective hat or maybe he's supposed to be Indiana Jones I'm not sure but it's like an hour-long interview and he's messing with his hat the entire time it's obviously too small for him and it's the best thing ever and uh, he's saying the same stuff as he was back then he's saying we all went to Mexico for CuervoCon you know the hacker convention which I didn't even go to. That was a bunch of other people I know. But then on the way back from Mexico, we ended up passing through Colorado and, you know, one thing led to another and we killed John Bonet Ramsey in a failed ransom attempt. So if you want to hear him be interviewed on this guy's podcast, this guy who can't even afford a secret microphone to have guests on his podcast, like you couldn't even hear Richard Cardo half of the time. And, and the best part is at the very beginning, when he's first talking and you can barely hear him, what you can hear is this guy's dog slurping up water for the first five minutes of the interview. It's pretty great. That was pretty amusing. I haven't watched the videos yet. I've just kind of skimmed through them, and I heard a few random bits where it sounds like he's just talking about the same thing he always has. He's still convinced that he's completely right. So if anyone wants to help him in his case, if you've seen me do anything suspicious that might lead you to believe that I am John Bonet's killer, watch these videos. Maybe they'll open your eyes and you can team up with Detective Cardo. And together you can both catch me red-handed. Doesn't that sound like fun? Thank you, Pioneer1011 from Reddit for somehow finding this interview. If you'd like to get all of your PLA news just a few days early from people like Pioneer1011, you should be a member over there on the Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash phone losers. We also have a Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash go away PLA. And there's a Discord. It's worldofprankcalls.com slash Discord. I think it might be the last one on the list. But go check all those out. Be a part of the community. All right, let's do some pranks. Hello. Hi, is this Kevin? Hello? Is this Kevin? Hello? Yes, who is this? Oh, this is Greg uh, from the uh, Dave and Busters. You were in here and did our silent auction for the Debo Sam yes. Samuel signed custom unframed white jersey. Correct. Uh... So that that one's a fake. I don't know if you noticed it yet, but that one's definitely a fake. Okay. One of our employees swapped the fake one for the real one. You know, oh, so, wow. So he could take home the, the real one. So I just wanted to let yeah. you know about that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. I mean, it looks it looks real, right? Yeah. That's all that matters. Something like that. But, yeah, just know that that's... That's a fake in there. All right. Well, I appreciate the call. Thank you for telling me that. Have you been wearing it? No. Why not? You don't want to pretend you're Debo Samuel? Uh, no, I, I don't have the need to do that. Well, why'd you buy the shirt? Um, I actually ended up not buying it. Oh, what happened? Uh, I just chose not to get it after all. Well, I have you can't do that. Here, so. You can't do that. You, you signed the list. You're in an auction. Yeah. You you better buy this fake shirt, motherfucker. Couldn't do it. Why not? Couldn't do it. Why? Why just you, couldn't. Why'd you sign up then? I was planning to and just couldn't. Why couldn't you? What happened? Stuff happens. What happened? Life happens. Yeah, what happened? Did, like, did your pet get sick or something? You just ran out of money? Uh, no, just bills, bills, brother. Oh. 
Well, this is a bill, too. Okay. We're going to send you to collections. For what? You son of a bitch. For uh, promising to buy this shirt, this knockoff shirt, and then not doing it. How dare you, buddy? And who is it that you're looking for? Uh, Kevin. Interesting. Why is that interesting? Because you're saying you're sending me to collections, but you don't know who I am. Well, you said your name's Kevin. It says here on our list. I said, who are you looking for? Who who is this? Man, you're just full of shit, aren't you? Am I? It seems like you are. Because I'm like, Kevin, and and you you pretended you were Kevin. You just let me keep talking about the shirt. I didn't pretend. Yes, you did. Mm, I don't think I did. You lied by omission. That's what you did. I don't think I did. Why do you still use a yahoo.com email address in 2024? Just, I keep keep up with my Yahoo, I guess. Well, that's dumb. You should get something newer. Like Yahoo. Come on. Do you, do you go to their news site is too? Is there anything is, further that I can help you with today? Is, is that where you get your news from? You go to Yahoo News? Yeah. Is <laughs> there anything else I can help you with today? Sir, that's disgusting. Ugh. Going to Yahoo. Wait, so you and Kevin use Yahoo email addresses? I think you just confirmed that you're Kevin. No, I use a, a Yahoo email address. Are you Joseph? Do you just go by your middle name? Because that's um, you know your Yahoo email address. I'm not at as your middle. Will name. to say my name, but well, I mean, who's who? The fuck is Kevin? Um, I don't know. You should Google it. No, I don't want to. I just, um, you know, this is your, this is the harassing calls we do whenever you don't pay for your auction. We're, we got a whole call center of people. They're going to keep harassing you about this. I mean, I'm not sure what you're really getting at, but all you, right. You shouldn't have let Kevin use your phone number. Okay. I'm going to type here in the computer that I have confirmed that you are Kevin Joseph and that you still use Yahoo. That would be inaccurate. So I know I'm going to say it anyway, and that way you'll get more calls from the other call center people. Interesting. And right. I'm going to say that you still use Yahoo email in 2024. Because that's weird. That'd be accurate. <laughs> that's, like, that's like using Juno email or Hotmail uh, or like AOL. Remember AOL Messenger? Yeah. Oh, boy. Fuck those people. Did you just do it yourself off the line? Did you get quiet? I think so. Ah, shit. I guess that means I'm going to hang up on him. That guy was boring. That's from our auction list that I did the other day. Who sent this to me? Smoofykins. Yeah, this is from Smoofykins. Am I supposed to say your name? I'm pretty sure that's your real name. But uh, this is the Dave and Buster's one that I did. I think I did. Yeah, I did a live show on this one. But there was a few people that did not pick up. So I'm calling them up on this first list. Both of those people use Yahoo email addresses. What a couple of freaks. What do you guys think? Was that Kevin? I'm starting to think that was Kevin. Hi, this is Bill. If I don't recognize your number, I will not answer the phone. Please leave a message. If you don't leave a message, I will permanently block your number. Thanks. Wow, Bye. asshole. What the fuck? At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, Bill, you son of a bitch. This is Mark from the Dave and Busters. You did this uh, silent auction over here. Uh, and uh, what was it for? Looks like it was for for the uh, Debo Samuel signed custom unframe white jersey and you know what Bill I don't appreciate it I don't appreciate what you did and if you ever come in here again you better not do that again and I also don't like your your voicemail message you sound like a real asshole Bill all right call me back bye I'll go ahead and cross him off the list and we'll hope for a call back from him what the hell is voicemail just filled with demands and ultimatums? If you don't leave a message, I'm going to block you forever. 
Man, that's actually the last of that auction list. I tried a bunch of the numbers that didn't pick up and nobody would pick up again. So now what do I do? I guess I'll just move on to another list. Here's a list from Jim that was sent to me uh, uh, quite a while ago. Wait, have I have I done any of these? It's a swap shop phone numbers list. And no, it does not look like I've called any of these. Although I did load it up into my Google spreadsheet program. Like maybe I was going to call it on a live show. Oh wait, no, a few of these have been called. I've got notes in here. Okay, anyway, I'm going to shut up. Oh, I got an incoming call. I think this is from the auction lists. Dave and Busters, can I help you? Hi, Bill. Somebody just left a message here about me uh, buying uh, a, uh, a Debo Samuels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, you're being a real asshole about it. Why is that? Listen, you're not supposed to go in our basement whenever you're here. That's employees only. What do you mean your basement? Oh, you know what I mean. We saw you on the security camera. You went in our basement and you monkeyed around. Uh, you got the wrong person. Oh, I, I went so. upstairs to bust. I came in the door. I looked at the jerseys. I bought two of them. Yeah, but then you were you were stupid enough to write your name on the jersey list, and then you went straight to our basement. And I think you know you weren't I, supposed I, to be I, there. I've never been there before. I don't know where your basement is. Well, th- why'd you walk straight to the basement door and go down there? I did not go to any basement. Oh, yes, you did. And you were looking around all suspicious-like. You knew you weren't supposed well, to be down there. I'm sorry. Listen. You got the wrong oh, okay. dude. Okay. So you're, hey, I'll you're, come down. You want me to come down and talk to you? I'll be down no. at Dave and Buster's tomorrow. Look, look here, stupid. We're already on the phone talking. Why would you need to come down? I I did not go in your. I want to show you. I want you to show me where the goddamn basement is because oh, I didn't go in the basement. You know where the I basement is. I want to see is. the video. You went down there. I want to see the video. I'm not, I want to see the video. I'm not showing you the I video. I want to see the video. Hey, we're not arresting you, you or anything. Then you're, you're full of baloney. You are full of baloney. If you can't show me the video, it shows where I went in the basement. Then you are way out of line. Why are you you're saying way I'm, out of line? Why are you saying I'm full of baloney? Are you afraid to say the shit word? I don't like to swear. Oh, okay. That's not my. Well, that's, yes, that's I'm not weird. That type of that's weird. What are you? What are you like a little kid? It's okay to swear. You're an adult now. I'm an 82 year old man. I know. Swear all you want. And I don't have what's a problem anyone, with coming down and What's, you? what's your say? name? Uh, what's your name? This is Steve Dave. What is it? Steve Dave. And I'm not related to the Dave from Dave and Buster's. You can knock, Steve. You can knock that off. Yeah, Steve Dave. But listen here, days. listen here, you son of a bitch. Just stay out of our basement. That's all you have to do. I don't really Let want me you. Tell you one thing I don't now. really want you coming back. If you can prove that I was in your basement, I'll give you a thousand dollars, and I'll put that in writing. I don't need your blood money, you son of a bitch. Just stay out of our fucking basement, okay? You're a real gentleman. Thank you. <laughs> that was a nice compliment to get after I just yelled at him a bunch and called him terrible things. I didn't get around to asking him about his voicemail, though. Like, why is your voicemail message so mean? Hello? Hey, Bill. Yes? I was calling about your bee traps. Yes, sir. I'm in your backyard right now. Uh, so you have a oh, lot really? a lot of five traps? Yes, sir. That's how I ship them five at a time. Yeah, $85? Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't need those. I live in an apartment. Why'd you call me? We, we don't really have many bees around here. Uh, I'm just calling to let you know that I'm not interested in your bee traps, and I don't want them. <laughs> it was really crazy of you to call me, then, wasn't it? What do you mean crazy? Don't call me crazy, you son of a bitch. I just don't want your Thank bee. You. I don't want your bee traps. What would I do with them? Stick them up your ass. What? <laughs> Why would I do that? I'm not going to stick those on my ass. They probably have poison in them. What does he think? I'm an idiot? Hello. You know what? If I ever do need a bee trap, I'm not going to buy it from you. I don't give a shit. Well, you know what? You're you're out $85 then because I'm never buying a bee trap from you. I don't need the money. I mean, if I ever do need a bee trap because... Well, uh, do it. What do you mean <laughs> you don't need the money? Why would you list it in the classifieds if you don't need the money? Sounds like you're full of crap. Give me something to do. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right, Bill. Are you there, Bill? Did you hang? Did you hang up? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Listen here, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna hang up on you now. I don't give a fuck what you do. I am very sorry about the call. 
I'm sorry. Do you accept my apology? You're just sorry. Bye. Whoa, he just called me sorry. That was not cool. Hello. Hey, I was calling about your plumbing. I'm sorry, what? Oh, you heard me. You son of a bitch. Darn it, I was not prepared for that one. I forgot which line I was on, and I don't know. Whatever. Oh, great, he's calling back. The plumber guy is calling back. Hello, Mr. Uh, Reuter Plumbing? That was the dumbest fucking prank call I've ever heard in my life. Oh, no, it wasn't a prank call. I was just trying to get you to call me back so I could see what your caller ID says. And now okay. I see it. Can, That's all can, I need. What, what can I help you with? I'm working for a private investigator. It's just a technique we use. But I can let you go now. Right. I just needed to find out what your caller ID was. That's awesome. All right. Thank you so much. There we go. Now he understands everything. That actually is a technique I used to use when I did private investigation stuff. Just get people to call me back so I could see their caller ID. And then I'd have their name. Now I should call him back with a different ruse and get his address. He'll never see it coming. Hello? Hello, this is Kevin from at t Wireless. Says, call him to let you know we're going to change your phone number today to 6190. So do you have uh, something to write with? I, I need to give you your new phone number. What? You're going to change my number? Yeah, just this one number, the 6190 number. We're going to change it to a new phone number. No, I'll go and talk to the office here in the local. Oh, no, no. We're, we're changing that, that, it that's right not now. Gonna happen. No, I've got the change. That's not going to happen. I've got the change. I'm not going to call everybody. Screen. I'll switch services. Just leave me alone. I don't even Sir, think you're if, with at and if, if you switch services, you'll just have to change it anyway. Duh. No, I won't. I've done it before. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck you I'm are. I'm sorry. We're already taking the number. You, you've been outbid on your phone number. That's all. It's not a big deal. It happens all the time. I'm not changing my number. No, you have to because uh, some. No, I don't. I'll go right now. There's a, What's your name? Look, I've got the change What's order. What's your name? Street. What is your name? I already told it's you. A it's a simple fucking question. I already told you it's Roy. Remember? Roy, what? They don't tell me shit. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you any more than that. I'm just with AT and T. Taylor Swift wants your number. You know how it is. Poor guy. He's like, just leave me alone. Hello. Hello. It's it's Jordy from AT and T Wireless. Uh, I need to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. Wait, what? Uh, this two five. What is this? This two five one eight number. We've got to change it to a new number. Who is this? Uh, this is Jordy LaForge from AT and T Wireless. Um, I'm not with AT and T. Bam! You got your number with AT and T, even though you switched to a different carrier. So we still own the number. But, okay. But it's so, okay. It's okay. We're, so, set, we're setting you up with a new phone number. There's no charge. I don't or anything. want a new phone number. Ma'am, uh, you got outbid on your phone number on this 2518. When you I mo- got outbid? Yeah, when you move to another carrier, it opens you up to outbidding. I never moved there- to another carrier. I've been with the same carrier for 10 years. Okay, well, all I know is Taylor Swift wants your phone number because your, yeah. your number spells Swifty. Y- okay, yeah. The last few digits does. Yeah, so, okay. do you have a pen? I'm going to give you your new phone number. Uh, give me your name. Wait, let me put my glasses on and get a pen. Okay. This is Roy. Roy what? LaForge. Or you, you can call me Jordy, La- though. LaForge. Yeah, L-A-F-O-R-G-E. Is that a man in the background talking? It doesn't matter, does it? Well, I don't know. He sounded a little bit irritating, and maybe you could tell him just to shut, okay, shut and, the Okay, f- and, and you're with AT&T? Yes. Yeah, you tell, and, me, you tell him just to shut the fuck up, because you're on the phone. Oh, you're a representative of AT&T, no. and you're saying shut the okay, fuck up? Okay, listen, ma'am. I'm just kidding about all this number stuff. I was calling about your bulldogs. Are those still available? I don't know what you're talking about. Your bulldog's for sale. Who who are you? I, I'm not with AT and T. I'm just I, I live here in New Orleans. Hey, what the hell? She just hangs up on me. I want those I want those damn puppies. Here, let me let me call her from a different number. Sorry that I missed your call. Oh, she is calling me back, even though she is not picking up. Hello, ma'am. Is uh, the 504 area code really in New Orleans? I thought that was Baton Rouge. 
What is what? Why do you be calling me? Well, I I wanted to get some of those uh, bulldogs, but if you're all the way over there in Baton Rouge, how am I gonna? Get... How'd you get my phone number? Because the classified ad you had, you said you had bulldogs for sale, one year old female. Classified will, ad. Will you tell that man in the background to shut the fuck up, please? Ma'am. Don't give my phone number. You got it off the internet. Well, yeah, off the classifieds. And also, tell that man in the background to shut the fuck up. We're on the phone. So, that's that's my husband. I know. He, he's irritating. You tell, need tell, to shut the fuck up. Tell him to stay out of your conversations. 504 area code map. Oh, it is part of New Orleans. Silly me. I thought that was 318. I am so wrong. Now I feel so stupid. Here's a chair and half ottoman for sale. Hello. Hello, I was calling about that chair and half ottoman for sale. Oh, I've already sold Oh, it. I've already sold that. I'm sorry. What? Are there two people on the phone? I'm hearing my voice echoing. Well, no, I, I'm not an echo, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm the one that was selling that chair and half ottoman. What, what are you doing on my phone? On my phone, right? <laughs> well, I, I called this 1316 number. About the chair and half ottoman? Yeah, that's my phone number. My phone number is 601 hmm. Ma'am, who, 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 who are that's you? Are, are you pretending to be me? I don't appreciate it. Do what now? Are you pretending to be me? I don't appreciate it. I'm just trying to... No, ma'am. My phone rang. Well, my phone rang, too. And I'm trying to sell my <laughs> chair and half ottoman. But I sold that a while back. For a hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a mix-up here somewhere. Oh, goodbye. Oh, wait, does either of you have the, the the? Okay, bye. I only waited like five months to call these numbers of gyms. I don't know why everything has to be sold already. Hello. Oh, hi. This is uh, Kevin from Metro PCS. I was calling to let you know uh, we're, we're changing your phone uh, number. Say, say again. Oh, we're changing your phone number. I'm with Metro PCS. This 5915, it's not going to work anymore. What's saying? Why are you changing my number? I don't understand here. Oh, we're, we're just changing it because uh, you've been outbid on it. A uh, celebrity wants your phone number. So uh, I've got your new phone number here for you. There's no charge for it. You're just going to have a brand new phone number. Okay. Where I can get it? Oh, uh, if you just write it down... And I'll have your number changed in just a few minutes. Um, and this 5915, it's not going to work anymore. Do you have a pen or a pencil? Why, why this phone number don't work anymore? Oh, I'm getting ready to change it to a different phone number. You're going to have... No, a, no, 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 no. You're no. going to have a whole different phone number. No, I don't need... Any different phone number. Oh, no, you, I need my. Well, it's going to be your phone number. It'll just be a different phone number. No. Me. Because I have this phone number everywhere. I'm sorry. You've Goodbye. been. You've been outbid. By the way, next door Nick has been trying to get me to tell people their number is changing because Taylor Swift needs it, and I think he wants me to tell them that their phone number spells Swifty or something like that. And these are not next door Nick numbers, but I'm doing it anyway, next door Nick. Even if I do think it's funnier to say Carrot Top wants their number, I'm switching it up to Taylor Swift. Hello? Hey, um, ma'am. It's your neighbor, it's Roy. Who? Roy. I don't really know you that well. Uh, I just ordered something on Amazon, and I, uh -huh. I accidentally put your address on it. And I got the 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. delivery time. So I just want to Okay, well I won't be up at 4 a.m., but okay. Oh, I will be. I'm going to hang out on your porch from 4 a.m. till they bring it. Okay. Is that <laughs> you okay? You do that. Is that okay? I'm just going <laughs> to yeah, sit out sure. there. Okay. <laughs> you really don't Okay. Have, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I won't be noisy. I'll be try to be quiet about it. Okay. You've got a lawn chair out <laughs> there or too. something, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you, you don't? Or is it are you being mm, No. Ah, shoot. Okay. No. I'm gonna go out. Okay. I'm gonna go in your backyard and get a chair, and just sit out there. Okay. From four, there you go. There's no chair out there, but okay. It, 
Ma'am, <laughs> why don't you have any chairs? Do you have any in the garage? <laughs> I know. I don't want to carry a chair to your house. Well, I'm sorry. All right. I'm kidding about all of this. I'm calling about your Lazy Boy <laughs> sofa. Oh, okay. Is it still available for $400? No, are you kidding me? We don't even live in Florida anymore. Well, no, how would I know that? It's There's a classified ad here. It says the Lazy Boy Sofa for 400 bucks. I thought I took that down. Yeah, no, no, that's gone. Been gone for a long time. How long? Since like August. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, that's when, sorry about that. That's when, uh, that's when Jim <laughs> sent me this list. So that, that checks out. Okay. You're correct. August it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh um, that all? Also, I'm with T Mobile and we're gonna be changing your phone number today. This three six six eight, it's not gonna work anymore. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Well no, Goodbye. you you've been outbid on it. I'm sorry. That would have been weird if that worked. Wow, I still have a lot of numbers here, like thirty of them. Am I gonna do that many numbers? I might. Here's a knife making class with Jordy. I think that's where I got the name Jordy from earlier. You've reached Jordy the knife maker. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Listen here, Jordy. You need to turn up the volume on your voicemail. Maybe re-record it or something. I couldn't hear any of that. You do it over, you son of a bitch. Hello, this is Jordy. Hey, Jordy. Uh, this is Steve Dave from AT&T Wireless. I was calling to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. Uh, why? This, this uh, 4263. Uh, it's just been, you've been outbid on it, and somebody else wants to use it for their business needs. It's, so it's, uh, I, it's for my business. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, well, we're not going to charge you for anything. It's just you're going to get a new phone number. That's all. No, it's my business number. You're not well, changing my phone number. Well, no, it's not what your number anymore about. because you're not changing. somebody else wants Fuck your number. Fuck wants you. Your number. You're oh. not changing my phone number. Oh, weird, because I'm in the change number screen right here on my computer system. Damn it. Everybody knows the secret trick of just hanging up on me, and then their number doesn't get changed. And now he's going to see that he has a voicemail. And that's going to be the one about his voicemail volume being too low. But that guy does classes on how to make knives. What a cool guy. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Steve Dave from AT&T Wireless. I needed to let you know we're changing your phone number right now. This four five zero six. So you're. you're Who are you? Uh, this is AT&T Wireless. You're going to have a different well, phone what number. What are you calling me for? Uh, to let you know that we're changing your. Sir, you I used, don't have AT&T. You used to have AT&T. You switched to a different carrier, so we own the number, the four five zero six. So we're changing your number today. Uh, I just need to uh, let you know and get you to write down the new phone number, and we'll be all done. There's no charge for well, it. Well, I don't want to change my phone number. How is this happening? Uh, I've had this somebody, number for 30 years. Oh, yeah, somebody outbids you on your phone number. What so does that mean? I've had this number for 30 years. Okay. that's That doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, you can change your number no matter how long you've had it. My parents had their number for over 50 years, and we changed it. What does that got to do with me? How, do, how does my number arbitrarily get changed? Who bids on a telephone number? Oh, it's another... This uh, is the first I'm hearing of any of this. It's another business owner. They want to use your phone number for their business. So uh, if you just write down your new phone number, I'll go ahead and get this done, and there won't be any charge for you. I'm very sorry. I don't want to change my telephone number, okay. period. Well, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but it's going to be done in probably about five minutes. All right, there's got to be some possible way of making this make sense. Now the, the other How does my number just get you? I have two telephone numbers with AT and T. Well, that are that began prior to AT and T, but were carried over to AT and T. Four five zero six and four five zero seven. I need both of my numbers. Okay, well you're getting to keep the four five zero seven. We're just taking the four five zero six. All right. How like are you taking my telephone number? Who? Wh what's What's the number of your legal department? I'll have my attorney call. Our legal department? I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, well, you're going to have to know because I need my telephone number, well, you, you and I'm going to sue if somebody's going to take my number. You can just Google that. I, I, I'm not. I'm all, not your that, secretary. I don't know how to. I don't know how else to explain this. I don't want my number changed. Okay. Period. Well, why? It's just a phone number. Like you just got to give no, people. No, it's do- not just a phone number. This is my business number, and I've had it for thirty years. Yeah, you keep saying that. Like, just just get a new phone number. People do it all the time. No, no, they don't. This is a yes. business, sir. A uh, celebrity is taking your number because it spells their name, and it's for their act, and they need your phone number, and it, they've already paid for it, so I just need to give you your new phone number, and we'll be done. Uh, no, that's not. That's absolutely not the way I, I need this to go down. Okay, I need well, to find it's, out it's how still to happening. contact your legal department. I need a number for your legal... All right, let's start here. What's I would suggest. Name? I would suggest getting on Google. And, All right, uh, Google I'm not getting on AT&T Google. AT&T Wireless. What is, tel- what is your name? Uh, my name is Roy Zerbel. Roy Zerbel. How do you spell that? Uh, G H E R B E L E. G H E R B E L E. B E L E. Okay. And your telephone number, now, please. I wrote down some stuff for you. Now you got to write down some stuff for me. No, uh, I need. I need your a new telephone phone number, number for you. is going to be area code three eight six. Oh come on! Give me a break. Three eight six. What? <laughs> give me, give me your phone. Fo- give me your telephone number. I think that's Clearwater, isn't it? It's a nice area. No, no, it's not Clearwater. Is Clearwater seven two seven, and I've had this number ah, for thirty years. Okay. What's, what's your telephone number? My personal phone number. I'm not giving you that. That's no, weird. I don't want your personal phone number. I want your business contact. Oh, okay. It's one eight hundred three three one zero five zero zero. The main well, cus- that cus- doesn't sound like a way of reaching you, so what's your extension? Well, that, that's the main customer service line. Uh, my extension- I don't want a customer service line. I need, I need a way for my attorney to be able to call you. Well, I, it's not me that's doing it. Why are you it? calling me at the end of the day? It's a, I mean, it's 6.30 here. Well, because the celebrity, uh, the, the deal just went I through. I don't care about your celebrity. I'm not changing my telephone number. Oh, yes, you are. I'm on the change number screen right now. It's going to change as soon as I hit this button. I need a telephone number to your legal department. Okay, well, I, I told you, get on Google. I don't know what it is. I don't have Google I here. I don't they, have a way of, of, of looking up your legal department. Oh, what, what? You're, you're saying you're with AT&T? Yeah, I'm actually at work. They don't let us get on the Internet here, okay? Sorry, okay, I, don't I don't have the Internet. That. You're with AT&T? You, you work for AT&T? For the billionth time, yes. I'm calling you from AT&T. Okay, you're calling me from AT&T. You don't have a number for your legal department. No, that's not something anybody ever asks us for. It's a little weird that you're asking us for our legal department number. You think it's weird that you're telling me that you're calling me to take away a number I've had for 30 years? You're making a big deal company? over you nothing. You think that's weird? Yeah, and you're making a big what? deal over nothing. Like, it's just a phone number. I'm glad just... you don't know nothing about business, my friend, but it is a big deal. It's a very big deal. This number has been published for 30 years. Just give them the 4507. It's practically the same. No, it's not practically the same. Oh, wait, not actually, even remote. No, it is. Not like, even a little there, bit remote. There's 10 digits, and one of them is different. That's very much the same. There's something seriously wrong with you. You, you must come from some, some foreign country that I, that I can, cannot even fathom. How in the world do you think that a business number in service for 30 years can be off by a a digit and it's the same thing? Do you know how many people have this number? Thousands of people have this number. Yeah, call them all up. Thousands. Call them all up. Give them your new number. It's uh, area code 386. There's something wrong with you. This, this, This can't be real. This really cannot be a, a real telephone call. Sir. This cannot possibly be a real telephone call. You're calling me from 432 You're obsessed. You're obsessed over area codes. That's the number you're calling me from. Well, how is that? Yeah, that's that's just uh, the computer assigns us a number to call in with cuz nobody picks up toll-free numbers. So, I don't know what never that was. That I don't know what that was supposed never, to prove, never, smart guy. 
I, you know, I don't know what you think you're supposed to be proving by telling me you're changing my telephone number. Well, you don't need to be you getting can't all upset about it. My phone number. Well, you, you don't own my phone number. Uh, I own my phone sir, number. Sir, actually, paid for, it for thirty years. Yeah, you you leased the phone number from us. That doesn't mean you own it. You know what? When you doesn't re- mean that you can when, arbitrarily change it. When you rent a house, going to be a suit. If you were to rent a house for 30 years, that wouldn't make you the owner of that house, would it? No. Oh my God, there's something fucking wrong with Silly boy, come on. You know how things work, Poppy. don't you? You're a businessman. He hung up. Oh, he's calling me back. Hey, I wasn't actually calling to change your number. I just was uh, curious about your firearms that you had for sale. Yeah. Oh, he hung up quickly. I hope you heard that. Let me try and call him back. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Seven, five, zero, six is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Wow. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Wow, you've had this number for 30 years and you haven't even set up the voice bill yet? You are a shitty businessman, sir. I was just kidding about changing your phone number. I was wanting to uh, sell you some guns. I have some guns and I just want to sell them and... I saw here in the classifieds you are offering to buy guns and firearms of all kinds, paying cash or check. Wow, check. That's something I haven't heard in like 30 years. Who sends checks anymore? Fucking Okay. Anyway, please call me back. I, I'm seriously interested in the, selling you some guns. Thank you, sir. There. Let's see if that makes them call me back. I'm sure it will. Oh. Hello, uh, this is Greg uh, from Verizon Wireless. Uh, we're getting ready to change. What? All right. Listen here, sir. We're getting ready to change your phone number, the seven nine three zero number. We're going to change it. Why? Uh, because you've been outbid on it. So I need you to write down your new phone number. I'm not writing nothing. Shit. Oh, you better. <laughs> You're not writing nothing. Shit. See, that's how the previous guy should have handled it. And he would have saved himself a lot of stress and a possible heart attack. That guy needs to learn how to run a business. Hello? Hello, who's this? Oh, that's weird. You forgot to say hello. All I could hear was your television. Who is this? Um, th- this is Brad. I was calling for that scooter, that mobility scooter. Hey. Yeah, but I live in Michigan now. Okay, that's all right. I'll drive up. Hey, uh, why don't you tell that man in the background, though, just to shut the fuck up? Because you're on the phone. Hey. Fuck you, this is my wife, bitch. Yeah, yeah, you get off her conversation. <laughs> Whoa, you did not like that. Let me uh try right back. Hey, what happened? Weird, it picked up, but there was no sound. I hope that wasn't my fault. They keep picking up and not saying anything to me. I hear nothing. Freaking weirdos. Hello. Hello. Yeah. What are you doing? Who's this? Oh, uh, this is uh, James from Verizon Wireless. Verizon Wire. Yeah. I just called to let you know that you look really nice today. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Get that, get a life, will you? No, I looked at you through your camera, and you just look really nice today. Like the the. Shirt. What do you mean? Well, just uh, like your shirt's nice, your hair is combed, like you just match. You, you look nice today. You look especially nice today. Fuck off, asshole, motherfucker! What? Why? Are you? <laughs> I didn't even have the right carrier for him. He's with T-Mobile. Oh crud! I got a call coming in, but it's not from the areas that I've been calling. I don't think. Hello? Hey, I'm returning a call. Oh, did I call you tonight? Yes, who am I speaking to? Uh, this is Grega. I've been making prank calls tonight, so I think I was probably trying to prank call you. Oh, why would you do that? Oh, because it's fun, you know, like it's just uh, something to do to kill the time. And, uh, yeah, but when you're waiting on a call from my son, he's got lung cancer, and I've got my dad, he's in the hospital, and then I get a prank call. Well, no, it's okay. My my prank calls are very short normally. 
So you wouldn't miss any calls from anybody that's important to you. It's just a very quick, fun prank call. Well, why don't you call the restaurant and call them? Why would I call a restaurant? Well, why would you call me? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just have this list of people's phone numbers here. Uh, it looks like you posted a classified ad. Um, oh, I don't know when. But, yeah, I, I was just trying to call you up and... I've never I, posted an ad. I think you never. did. No, I, I don't know. Your phone number is on this list. So I was just going to prank you, but I already marked your number off because you didn't pick up. Well, so, I think you need to find a different game to play. Well, it's not a game, you know, like I'm just making prank calls. You're bothering people at night, and there's a lot of people who have serious family issues going on. Yeah, doesn't that mean they could use they could use a laugh? One person, what's so funny about this? About what? About you prank calling people. What's oh, the fun of it? well, cause, you know, usually uh, people get a good laugh out of it. I, I'll tell them I'm with their phone carrier and that they look nice today. And I'll, I'll let them know I can see them through their camera. And they're like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and then, uh, ma'am, you've been on the phone a long time. What if your son or your dad's trying to call you? That's exactly right. Thank God I got call waiting, though. Why would you even complain about that then if you have call waiting? You're just trying to look for something to complain about. Yeah, people like you calling me for no reason. Well, you're, people like you lying to me about caller ID or about call waiting, pretending you don't have it. I didn't do nothing to you. You called me. I didn't call you. I know, but then you, you, you... You're coming up with this imaginary list that don't even exist. Yes, it I've does. It does, too. I... I it's it's right here. I just uh, I erased your phone number already, so I don't know which ad was yours. All right. Well, you say what you want. I know I've never posted an ad for anything. Okay, ma'am. Never. I, ma'am, I just want to let you know you look really nice today. I'm watching you through your camera on your phone. You look nice. No, you're not. No, I am. I really am. I'm I'm a hacker, and I'm looking at you on your phone, and you look very nice today. Well, I'm glad you you're saying that. Yeah. If you seen what I was like, you wouldn't be saying that, so I know that's a lie right there. Ma'am, you look just fine. I don't know if you have a low opinion of yourself, but I think you look nice you tonight. No, I have a opinion of myself. Okay, well, I'm just telling you, you look nice tonight. Just accept the compliment. Jeez. Yeah, you need to call somebody else. I mean, I, call I, your mom. I will, but... Call your mom. Okay, I will, but <laughs> I'm on the phone with you, lady. And that's weird because I don't think I've called that area today. This list of classifieds was from a few certain states, and that was not one of them that she called from. So I'm confused. Maybe I must have called a different number. We are getting really close to the end of this list. I only have a few numbers left. Hello. Ray Michael. Is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Sorry, but the voicemail belonging to one three eight six nine five zero nine is full. It cannot accept. Oh, that's so weird. I've never seen this before. Their carrier is Dish Wireless. I know they do wireless and everything, but I think it's so rare to find anyone that actually uses them. That was a weird voicemail too. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is this is Greg uh, from Metro PCS. Uh, we're we're getting ready to change your phone. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on for a minute. Okay, go go. Okay, where are you from? We're changing your phone number. That's one six one one. I just need to give you your new phone number. What do you mean you're changing my number? Maybe a dream of reality. You, sir, who is that like in the background? Is that your TV? Uh, no, okay, Google, turn off. Academy Award. Okay, Google, turn off. That was my Google. Oh, freaking Google. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're just changing your phone number. This one six one one. Why? Well, another customer wants it. They they outbid you on it. So we're. What gonna, do you mean they? So there there's no charge or anything. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, but does that work like that? That I'm a loyal customer for like ten years. Yeah. You're going to take my phone number away that everybody knows. Yeah, you gotta. This will be a, an excuse for you to get in touch with everyone again. Because you didn't give me your new phone number. And you're going to tell, how do they know my phone number that they want it? 
Well, you're going to have to call up everybody and give it to them. I said, how did the person, you said a customer outbid me. What do you mean outbid me? Oh, they, they bid a lot of money to take your phone number because they want to use it for their business. So, Is that the way it works? Yeah, yeah. After a certain amount of time, people can outbid you on your number and, uh, you know, they can use it for whatever they want. Um, th this so one's how much do I have to pay to outbid them? Sir, this is kind of exciting, to be honest. Uh, the the customer is Taylor Swift, and apparently your number spells Swifty. She's going to use this phone number for her tour. You're, you're, so where, where are you calling from now? Um, Metro PCS. Where's your office at? Uh, it's here in the like in the on the sixth floor. It's a cubicle. Of where? I'm in a I'm in a call center, sir. Where's the call center right now? It's in Florida, Tampa, Florida. Okay. Anyway, would so you like you your new, would you like your new phone number? Like I just need you to write it down. I, I don't want to change my I don't want to change my phone number. Oh, you don't get a choice. We're changing it. I'm just calling to give you your new phone number. Yeah, well, hold on for a minute, okay? Okay. How come my readout says you're calling from North Carolina? Uh, it's a, it's a toll-free system. It just kind of assigns us a number down here in the southeast. So, so what are you telling me? You're telling me for real Taylor Swift wants my phone number? Yeah, are you a Swifty? No, I'm not. Oh, well, that's too bad. The real I would be Taylor Swift. What? Oh, what about Taylor Swift? She could drop dead if she wants my. If she's going to rob my phone number, now I'm going to have to give everybody new numbers? Yeah, yeah, it's easy. You just call them up and, get, and give them your new phone number. But, I mean, don't don't tell Taylor Swift to drop dead. That's not cool. She's, she's just Why uh, isn't it? What does she do for me? Well, she she makes uh, beautiful music, and you can hear it anytime you like want. I don't like the music. Well, she's that, a billionaire. I don't think she deserves it. Well, maybe you just have bad taste in music, sir. I really do, huh? I think so. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding about all this phone number stuff. I was calling to find out if you still have that Crossman BB gun left. You know, see, um, you are good. You are really good. Thank you me. almost had me. Almost. You almost had me. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give you a, a five points for that. Yay. Uh, Does that mean I get like 10 bucks? Do I get 10 bucks off of the gun? Is it a Crossman? I forgot the it's a, uh, the BB gun is up front. The one that looks like a forty five. Yeah, that's the one. The Crossman. I still have it, and it has it uses not re, not regular BBs. What's it use? Pellets? I don't know, but to, uh, if you want, I could send you a picture of it. Oh no, I'm not even interested in it. I I'm not allowed to have a gun. Why not? You a felon? Yeah, I'm a felon. BB gun is not a gun. Oh, I don't want to challenge the the federal government. I'm it's sorry. Fly, it's not a fire. It's not a firearm. Uh, I don't know. You tell you tell that to my old probation officer. He made me get rid of a sword. What did you commit? What did you? Uh, what were you convicted of? Uh, making prank calls. You mean somebody actually got you in trouble for that? You were pretty good. Yeah, I was making. Uh, I was calling up people who fill in those complaint cards at Safeway. And I was calling them up and telling them to go to hell. And actually somebody pressed charges against you? Yeah. I got in so much trouble. That's no good, because I'll tell you what, you almost had me going there. <laughs> oh, I should have kept going then. Darn it. I but, used to do prank calls, so for you to get, get me going, you are good. <laughs> what kind of prank calls did you do? Different, well, I mean, years ago, a long time ago, different ones. You should start doing them again. We we used to harass the police, too, in New York. Oh, nice. That's hard to do these days. They'll they'll trace you. We used to call up We used to call up a police station and say, uh, you know, a cesarean delivery when you're having a baby? Yeah. Well, we used to call up a police station and say, we're calling up about a cesarean delivery. And the guy would go in the back and say, did anybody order a pizza? <laughs> That's a good one. We I never like... said a pizza. Yeah, I mean, we used to do that, and then we used to Stupid we used to cops. do this when we call we call up a small police station and go like this every few minutes. 
Is George there? No, there's no George here. Is every few minutes we got this? I think from Sesame Street. Is George there? Is George there? And then after about maybe half an hour, you call up and say, "Is this this is George? Did I get any messages?" And some dopey cop gives you the messages. Wow, that's crazy. And I tell you what, then we saw something. You ever hear of the Jerky Boys? I'm going to do that one that you just said. Yeah, I've heard of the Jerky Boys. They make a lot of money off this stuff. Well, they used to. I think they're like poor now. I mean, it's been a long time. Yeah, so that's what you do is like you do every 15 minutes or 10 minutes, you call up with a police station or whoever it is and say, is George there? Every few minutes. And then after about a half an hour, you call up and say, this is George. Did I get any messages? And they give you all your messages. That that's hilarious. And, and some people do it. We had people giving <laughs> us the messages. And if you want to do something great, you have the, you know, the little a laugh box, this battery operated thing that makes like laughing and stuff like that. Yeah. You play that, you call somebody. We had called up somebody one time and he had one and he was yapping to us. Like you press a button and it says F you. It's a, a recorded thing. Ah, oh, that's, that's fighting dirty. I don't like that guy that did, we did that. We did, we did all of that stuff. Oh, that's great. I need to get some of those. I need to upgrade my equipment. But I'm gonna hang Would up you with you, actually, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call the next guy, and I'm gonna ask if George is there. But what did you really call me for? Oh, no reason at all. I just wanted to let you know I don't want that Crossman BB gun. Okay, so listen, I, you could try doing that. You call every few minutes, and just go like this and say, uh, "Is George there?" And then yeah. after about a half an hour, you call up. This is George. Did I get any messages? Okay, yeah, no, I got, I got it now. I, I where, you, where, you live? where do you live? Um, I'm in North Carolina. Okay, you can welcome to call me back and tell me how you make out. Okay, I will. I promise. Okay, because I like that type of humor. That's harmless humor. What's yeah, your name? Is, uh, this is Roy. And, my, uh, get out of here! My brother's name is Roy. Holy fucking shit! All right, I hung up. I can't take that guy anymore. <laughs> Telling me three different times how to make a prank call. And is that one really from Sesame Street? Does anyone know which episode of Sesame Street that is? Because that's kind of awesome. I want to see that play out on Sesame Street. The first time I heard that prank was from, I think it was like a Judy Bloom book. You know, just a young adult novel when I was a kid. And whoever the kid was, I, I don't remember actually which book it was. It's probably a different author too. But this guy was hanging out with a bad kid. And this kid started making prank calls, and he did that prank. He thought it was hilarious. I think that sounds incredibly boring to just call up somebody over and over and ask for a name that isn't there. I mean, unless they really explode at you, then hell yeah. I'm not into harmless fun. I want I want someone to be... Hello? Hello, is George there? No, it's no bad. No, I'm George here. Listen here, you son of a bitch. I know you've been taking messages for George. I want those messages now. Yeah, okay. Hold on. All right, get those. Get them. Hey, he just hung up on me. I mean, I could have called him back five more times asking for George, but I would have been bored out of my mind. That's why I didn't do it. Well, I hate to say this, everyone, but the show's over. That call I just made was the very last number. Oh, I should have given that previous guy. I should have told him to get on prankcast.com and listen to all the prank shows. He would have been blown away. He would have registered for an account, you know, to chat. And he'd be in the chat rooms going, hey, everybody, I got a good idea for a prank. <laughs> you call him up and you ask for George. Just you wait, because if all goes well, 30 minutes from now, you're going to get George's messages. It's going to be epic. Damn it. Why didn't I invite him? Hi, Brad. This is Randall from Paraland, Texas. Texas. Just calling to thank you for... Hey, I was just there a few months ago. All the... I could have said hello, but I didn't. Thank you for... All the good and easy times you've gotten me through listening to this podcast. So yeah. Thank you, and goodbye. All right, goodbye. I hope that's not a permanent bye. That sounded kind of permanent. I better get more voicemails from you. Hey, I'm just calling in to ask, uh, what's the oldest prank call that you know of, or the oldest that you have, like, a recording of? Additionally, why do you think that spoofing your number to have a 700 area code and calling MCI's A and I makes it read out random numbers and occasionally just glitch out and start beeping? Uh, two questions. I was hoping you can answer. Thank you. 
Well, I have no idea about the second one. I've never tried that, but it sounds interesting. How the fuck would I know? I ain't no phone scientist. And I think my oldest prank calls, they're all on my podcast at Brad's Cactus Shack. I've got stuff that I did in the mid 80s, like the What's Your Bid calls. I know we did a bunch of those in 2002 or whatever. That's the group of calls that are really popular, but I was doing What's Your Bid back in the 80s, back in middle school. And you can hear those on Brad's Cactus Shack. You can also hear me prank call girls at a payphone at a mall. Back in the 80s, I think I was using a computer voice on that one. And it's not the funniest stuff. That's why I don't play it normally on prank call shows and everything. But it's fun to talk about, you know, pranking people at a payphone with a computer voice and stuff like that. Hey, Brad. It's next door, Nick. Hey, Nick. And uh, yeah, that was me. I called into uh, the number I use for all the next door calls. Ooh. Uh, it looks like my uh, one someone, one of my neighbors must have posted that. Uh, he'll talk about how you're telling them that you're... Uh, <laughs> Putting in the EV chargers for the garbage fire trucks in front of the house. Yeah, keep up the good, funny stuff, Roy. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know what you're talking about, actually. I have a horrible memory. You can bring up stuff that I said in the previous show, and I have no idea what you're talking about. It's not your fault. It's mine. So I'm a little confused, but I'm sure all the listeners know what you're talking about. Also, I had a rental car this past week or so. It was a Mazda CX-9, but unfortunately, I wasn't a driver. So I couldn't get you get a Bluetooth rating going for that. Oh, darn. Anyways, take care. You know, you know how much I love those. So do you like clowns? I just had this idea. Like, I want to apply to, like... I love clowns! Some random second job, like Burger King. Or just go in dressed as a clown. I don't know. Maybe that's more of a McDonald's thing. I didn't even try to kind of, yeah. do that. I don't know where this is going. But I they think- don't want competition clowns at McDonald's. They're going to be like, you're way cooler than Ronald. You get the fuck out of here. It would be funny to dress up as a clown in real life and just like, it'd be like a metaphor. Okay, under 30 seconds. You should do it. Just fill out a completely serious application and say, I hope it's not a problem, but I'm going to be wearing clown clothes every day under my uniform. I'll wear my uniform shirt on top of my clown shirt. Hey, Brad, it's Predex. I help out with Futel here in Portland. Hey. Not to shit on hope. That thing's great, but you should also maybe think about coming at the tour camp this summer. Hope to see you there, buddy. Bye. Okay. Is that an actual camp? I don't like camping, but we'll see. Oh, I see. It's up there in the boonies of Washington. Yeah, I'll keep that one in mind. But if there's not an Airbnb for me, I don't know if I can handle that. And that's awesome. You help out with Futel. I love Futel. I mean, I love the idea of Futel. I need to go visit some more Futel phones around Portland. Really, I think I've only just seen the one. But if you find a Futel payphone in Portland, Oregon, you can pick it up. And either make free phone calls on it, or you can listen to Longmont Potion Castle prank calls from the payphone for free. And then there's a bunch of other options, too. It's kind of awesome. If you ever come to Portland, make sure you find a few telephone and play around on it. Put Nutella on the earpiece, and then make it ring and walk away. It's Brown Teresa, I called to say. I had a dream that Brad was my dad. And we laughed, we were never sad. Can't be sad if Brad is my dad. You'd never be sad if Brad is your dad. I had a dream that Brad was my dad. And we laughed, we were never sad. Can't be sad if Brad is my dad. You'd never be sad if Brad was your dad. But don't tell my dad I have a dad, but I want daddy bread. I'm going to call up your dad and play that song for him and make him feel like shit. And he's going to be like, what? You don't like me as a dad? And it'll be super awkward. I can't wait to do that prank on you, Brown Teresa. Hey, hi, this is Jake. And call that was up. a nice song, Brown Teresa. Good job. I'm from Washington State. You know, I listen to Longmont Potion Castle. Wow. You're talking about two of the things I just talked about. And I just started listening to Phone Losers of America or mm-hmm. the Snowpuff Show. Yeah. And, you know, I got to wondering, who would win in a fist fight? Longmont or some guy that I hardly even know? I don't know. I've never seen Longmont. And why would I get into a fist fight with them? I like Longmont Potion Castle. He does funny pranks that I can listen to on a few telpay phones. 
Yeah, this is Tony from Coca-Cola Merchandising. I just want you to know that your job application was denied. Shit. But I also want to know, Brad, have I knew you, I shouldn't have worn that clown suit to the interview. Have you ever looked up at the sky and seen clouds and how beautiful they look on a sunset? Have you ever seen how beautiful clouds look on a fucking sunset? Yeah. What? Okay, bye. God damn it! I mostly just see pictures on the internet of the beautiful clouds. What, are you expecting me to go outside and look at them in person? That's weird. Hey, Brad. It's me, Andy Anderson, again. Hey. So, I had the stent removed, and it's kind of messed up, right? So, they sort of explain what they're going to do. What the but fuck? But they don't give you any pain talking about medicine before. They don't give you any, like, topical anesthetic. And then when they remove it, they just tell you, oh, yeah, if you have any pain, just take some ibuprofen. But, oh, my goodness, Brad. Oh, my goodness. It was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Oh, you know what no. they do? They just pull on that little string there, and they just yank it right up. Ouch. I don't want to hear any more of this, especially because your 30 seconds is up. And I don't know what you're talking about. Probably has something to do with this other voicemail you left. Hi, Brad. Um, my name's Johnson. Hey. I'm in Seattle, Washington. Everybody's in Seattle today. Um, I'm 14 and I'm failing school, and your podcast helps me get through it. Oh. So, hey. thanks a lot and love you, Brad. So Bye. my podcast helps you get through the failing. That's great. I should be proud. And don't worry, I failed all the way through high school too. High school's so overrated. No, I shouldn't be saying that. Like, do do better. Damn it. All right, I was gonna stop playing voicemails, but I've got one here from Teen Wolf Jesus that I just noticed. And he's a sponsor today, so I have to play his voicemail. Hey, Brad, it's Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey, your latest, uh, the latest Snowplow show, Back to the Tents and Health Stuff, is fucking phenomenal. I'm listening to it right now. Thank and you. And the, the part about you telling them or accusing them of uh, monitoring your baby monitor is one of the funniest fucking things I've heard in a long time. You a lot of funny fucking shit. So, Thanks. Um, great show. I've been wanting to do more of that, of the baby monitor stuff, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Somebody else took my baby monitor idea and ran with it. I think that was Dial Trolls over on prankcast.com slash Dial Trolls. I was listening to him like the day after I did that baby monitor call and he was doing a bunch of baby monitor calls and he was pissing some people off real good. But I'm going to do some more soon. It's still in my notes that I really need to do some of those. Also, I'm wondering, like, when's the last time you did a tennis and hell call and you did some like the original stuff that you used to do, like telling me you converged the living room into a pool or just inferring that because you live there, you own the unit, and you're allowed to make changes. Um, and all that stuff was super funny. Anyway, have a good day. Bye. Oh, I will. Don't tell me what to do. And I don't know when the last time is that I did those original calls. I don't really do those anymore. I already did them. But maybe I should. That was always fun. Telling them that I want a beach theme in my apartment, which I'm pretty sure was all Stacy's idea. Thanks, Stacy. That's going to do it for today's show. So thank you, Pranker Governor, Salt Teddy, the Prime Minister of Australia, Basket of Grapes, and Teen Wolf Jesus for being five of the supporters over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers. You should support the show too. You get an extra show every week when you do that. Except I think I'm three weeks behind for this year. I need to catch up. Don't worry, I will. Or was I behind on those? Maybe it was just the snowplow shows I was really behind on. I'll figure it out eventually. Rest in peace, Marco Ramirez. Everyone remember to say a nice little prayer for Marco Ramirez. Rest in peace, Marco. And then after you say your prayer, go watch those Richard Cardo videos. I mean, or don't. I, they're seriously kind of boring. But it's just kind of funny to hear him talking about PLA stuff still. And he won't say my name anymore, but he's referring to me as B. I think he's trying to call me a bitch, and that means war. No, I'm kidding, but it's weird stuff. Go listen if you want to. This guy is probably going to be spreading the word that I'm a child murderer. For the rest of my life and that sounds pretty amusing i'm glad richard cardo's around to keep things interesting over here maybe he'll succeed and the boulder police will show up and start questioning me that'll be awesome i can't wait for that here's a brand new song by mc lars and schaefer the dark lord this is from their brand new album called 999 this is the mayor's head from playgrounds to way down i'm always campaigning in h-town shake a hand and kiss a baby maybe the voters think i seem a little shady Operate. 